It's Nugget here, and I have another After Effects tutorial for you guys. And it's basically using the optical flares tutorial. I mean, using optical flares. Um, I will post a link in the description to download optical flares, and you will get a trial version for that. But I mean, if you have a serial number like I had, then you can use optical flares without the trial version. But anyway, basically, this is the effect. The first effect I'm going to show y'all is the dirt effect. And on and as you can see, it's dirt kind of around the little screen right here. Kind of gives it that little dirty effect, dirty effect. So I'm just gonna play it for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And it looks really cool in your montages when you um use the little dirty effect. But this is basically what the effect is gonna look like. As you can see, see the little particles of dust coming up. Um, so that's basically what the effect is gonna look like. So just gonna show you guys how to do this effect so first of all what you want to do is start a new project I'm not gonna save that so we're just gonna start a new project um, import your footage so I'm just gonna import recent footage um, after you import your footage drag it to the timeline and I always like to put mine to a good spot where I think the clip is so I put mine at this spot um, so what you want to do first is, well, what I always do first is I mess with the color. So I'm going to go to um, color correction and I'm going to go to curves. And I'm just going to mess with the color just a tad bit. Alright, right there is good enough. So then after you download um, optical flares, you can just go to effect, I mean effect. Sorry, it's really late right now. And then you go to Video Copilot and just click Optical Flares. Um, click on your Options key. Now, I have my Dirt Effect saved as a custom preset. So basically, um, what you want to do to get the um, the Dirt Effect is um, just go down to Motion Graphics and then just click on. Um, vertical limit and when you click on vertical limit this is what you want to do so stay at the vertical limit screen and I'm gonna go to my custom preset and um, this is what you want to do um, iris hide iris I mean multi iris hide multi iris hide multi iris hide multi iris hide hide the shimmer hide the next shimmer hide the street but don't hide the glow and drag the glow down to zero and then what you want to do is go up here and you want to select your lens texture image and you want to click doggy and then once you do that make sure your aluminum radius is 100 and that's pretty much it and it's easy to save it as a preset after you do it just click this little button right here and you can save it as a custom preset like I did right here in my custom presets folder so I want this effect I hit OK and um, you just come over here on um, motion blur on the render mode and you just put over original and they'll put the effect over it now as you can see you have the little dirt effect over your um video and after effects and you know that's just a that's just a cool way to add like a little effect to your movie and now i'm just going to show y'all the optical flare that actually the first optical flare you can use when you come with the um when you get the program so we're just going to um start another new project I'm not gonna save this one. Um, just go to File, Import, um, this, drag it to our timeline, and just a real quick, you know, um, effect. It does add like a little nice thing to your video once you put a little twist, uh, a twixter effect into it. It looks very, very nice. I'm just gonna brighten this up just a tad. Well, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's not brighten this at all because I already have it darkened enough. So we just import it again. I forgot that I um, darkened that file really, really bright in my um in my iMovie, so there was no need to um you know brighten it more. See, because I already have it darkened. So basically, what you want to do is just go to your effects tab and um go back to your optical, I mean your video copilot, and go back to optical flares. And this is the custom optical flare that you start with. It's the the one that they that you start off with basically and um I really like this one is 
in my opinion, one of my favorites out of the optical flares so far because I really haven't tried them all out. But like I said, basically what you want to do is just part, I mean, put this over original and you got the cool little flare in the um, video. And, you know, you can always drag it and move it around and make the flare start wherever you want to go. But, you know, I like mine just right here. And as you see, you got the little flare. So when you play your video, you have the flare. And, you know, another just simple, real cool effect. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment and tell me what you think. I have more tutorials coming soon. But like I said, it's a um, nugget here. And I hope you guys have a nice day. And be sure to hit that like button.